Well, we're prepping the car here. As you guys can see, team will be out here any minute. This is a naked Model 3. Wow, how about that? Part of the roll cage is in. And we're gonna put in seats next. Every pound is missing. We've stripped anything that didn't have any function in the car and just to save weight. What will happen and will be needing to happen is that um, we will need to actually run to the tech area and get the items and or we'll transport the car and finish it out there, but the fire extinguishers and a few other items that we need are actually all at the tech area. And they have to be mounted, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, so the minimum of two. So so each one is a 10 pound, so two are minimum for uh, the rules. The third is one that will mount, which is a preferential one. So next thing. Um, way, way down the hierarchy, we just have to clear the windshield and get the official banner on. Actually, no, it's, not, it's still on top of the mark because it's got to be on there to pass tech. Exactly. Yeah, so. I meant so, the yeah. belts are slightly more important. Yes, gotcha. So, yeah, um, basically, windshield banner. Yep, and car numbers, which should be in Decals, the Decals, which I was yep. leaving to you later. Um, are we doing door pan inserts, or...? That's not required, required for tech, we'll put it to afterwards. Exactly. Um, and I have the required, I can reach all of my exits and everything. You can reach the grab handles. So. Well, this too. So this, this is the, we'll label this with an orange yeah. pull grab for somebody breaking it and trying to get out if there's no 12 volt. And this is the one I can reach yeah. to get out. So, we get there. Um, other than that, it's just small things that aren't necessary for tech. Okay. The necessary for tech is the siren, yep. Siren. So the siren is something that, right now, done is better than perfect again as I mentioned to Kyle he's already working on that but the siren needs to be an audible alert that is 120 decibels it can literally be per the rules a single tone it has to be 120 decibels so my backup backup if nobody has anything is now going to be where that white box is is the horn <laughs> I was just gonna say like, just Meh. switching it on right, right? All the way but that horn was <laughs> supposed to have a world so there was a road radio that I'm consulting for yeah there was two of them that we had tested and mm -hmm. they Unfortunately, set the wrong box, and the box is looking exactly the same. Can so, we hook okay. snake jazz up to 120 <laughs> volts? Um, that like that's a yes, dudes. absolutely. But there's other things for that. Okay. Um, and then small things like uh, so you're wrapping this. Um, the dash tow hooks. To mount the tow hooks have to be done. So the tow hook for the front is is here. So that's a easy to make done you can you know, you just do that There's the tow hook on the front yeah, do like yep. the tow hook for the rear actually if you don't mind i'm going to show you and then we can as soon as you can do that let me show you how the yeah. rear is where you go yep. so for the rear unless and if anybody knows something different than i do tell them but i don't know if any tow hook in the rear is hot so what we're going to do is we're going to oh. remove yeah, okay. so we're going to remove these bolts right here okay and then i have brought a um, a, basically a racing harness yeah, yeah. that's going to be looped. This is, this is how we pass tech with the Model S. So we'll, okay. we'll, we'll use these and it'll loop out and it'll basically go here. This zip tie will be somewhere in adjacency um, just to kind of keep it from slopping around. But it and should you'll be, basically just shut the trunk on it? Uh, actually, no. Um, last time we literally kept it in this area. Oh, but had it, but had it, so, But had it so the single, the single um, zip tie well, how about the zip tie will go on after tech, but made it so that if somebody's trying to tow it, that, that force will break the zip tie anyways. So it just like, it gotcha. just stops it from flopping around. So yeah, that's yeah. our rear tow hook. Okay. The thing that is I'm new to me, and I don't recall having, is that they sh there, there needs to out now be a car number on the hood of the roof. And that had not been in previous, but I think we have enough on top of the roof. Cool. Yeah, so you need them um, yeah, so we'll just do this. behind both front wheels and then on the yeah. So these are going to go on the door, and we're going to, we will probably apply these at tech after we have seen what the official tech sticker size is and any other required um, stickers. We can place this where they want. It has the, the first responders guide of where to right, cut, right. where not to yeah, cut, yeah. what to do, and how to handle high voltage. Um, when we go through tech, the front will be out most likely. Um, 
but we will remove wiper cowl, which we're going to do that right now. And we will also remove this guy so that that way the the one loop, which there's our service loop on this one. Oh, it's this side actually. So this marking right here, this will do the same day glow. Mm -hmm. Even though this has an image here, we'll put basically a, a day glow thing that we'll, we'll hand write and say, you know, the exact verbiage that's in the rules, which is like a main fuse cutoff or main master switch. Mm -hmm. And it'll be there and it will be wise for us most likely to find Velcro um, and then include a pair of grips like um, my side cutters mm -hmm. and we'll find somewhere that we can velcro strap it in this area that's not going to create an issue okay. that's our main switch this is this the other thing that's in the rules that will um, that I'll provide to them is just the proof of the relays handling the current of the car I mean this that that rule is made for more people who are building their own electric vehicle sure. I want to make sure that all of the circuits are tested I've already provided the MSDS sheet so that's done okay. um, as well as all of your safety guys here because I want to print out the spec sheet on the tubing for the roll cage. Mm -hmm. I think you have to put it in time mode so <laughs> you're <laughs> messing with it. Do it. The worst you can do is do it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> could um, be and again the ruling for the sound is 120 decibels at one meter or three feet. So they measure it right okay. here. I'll do some vinyl and we'll seal it. Beforehand cool. great. Yeah. But that's no big deal. This right here needs to be cut from here and then rerouted. And what I did is I routed it last time up between here and then across to where the first, you know, this lighting. So I do need to be able to reach my hazard switch. So this one does need to be, oh, gotcha, gotcha. this one needs to be about here, but ideally kind of tucked up in. And so, uh, okay, so, so that, that way I can reach you've got, that one. You've got a bunch of zip ties. Oh, I've got a whole bag of them. Yep. Awesome. Yep. And then the other rear one, um, and it might be that this one goes more kind of like there's a, a reading light or somewhere here, mm -hmm. as long as it's not in the way. Um, we can always rearrange it, but the main thing is just not to have all the, the flapping around items. Yeah, yeah. But any of the things that, at least between now and tech, um, go ahead and zip tie up and away. If it's something we intend to move a second time, like those items, use a white zip tie or one of the colored ones. If it's something where like it's a permanent deal, then choose one of the black ones. Done. Yeah, then okay. use a black one. Yep. I like that. Um, we will worry about door panels um, after tech. I brought two different things to solve door panels just to kind of clean up this and be able to put to sponsors. Cover it. Yeah, and, and to be able to have sponsors stuff covered. Sure. Yep. Um, let's see. On the side of the house, there's uh, big rubber squares that I brought. Mm -hmm. Feel free to lay those down as you're working the the cabinet so it makes it easier because you have no carpeting. Plus, I will tell you that all that tar kind of stuff that's back there, unfortunately sticky. the roll cage guy didn't quite listen to it all, but I, I typically try to cover that because otherwise it just gets everywhere and it sticks to everything. So, um, outside of that, that rear panel shelf, um, let's leave it in for now. And it might be something that I remove on race day, but I've done all my practices with it and there's two advantages. One, it stops the glare coming off the back mm. and it just keeps more, there's a couple circuits back there that if I'm, you know, unplugged, I'm not quite sure if it's going to create some unknown fault for code. So, the visibility yeah. thing's big, and, and that yeah. certainly is, uh, that's that super thin stuff. Yep. Probably the we need to swap the wheels. But yeah, wheels, wheels need to be swapped, and the wheels that can go on will be the, um, the Martian wheels that are there. So we'll mount those on. Yep. Then I'd like to put the uh, the tire rack wraps back on these wheels and if Victoria is there some way if you, if you can get the wheels that are on here now cleaned When they come off that way they're clean for tech and then what we'll do is we'll present these in case We don't get the other tires in from Toyo. Mm -hmm. These will be kind of our rain full range tread depth, and then we have them available. So they'll be actually, covered. Be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be, If it's pouring down rain those are the way to go Kyle. 
actually the way that looks and feels is better. I like that. So let's get a nut and bolt combination to build it like that. Do you agree? Yep. That looks so much better. It's, it's, it's pulling strength against yeah. the whole thing. And yeah, so let's do it. Well, we're just putting the final stickers on, so that's good. We're all checked out, tech expected, and ready to roll. Smile. A me? Yeah, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good deal. Does this go in packed up? No, this is just going to go in the basement. I think so. I'm not sure. On ring. Look at you. Smile. Okay. Then this goes in the basement. I think we should play snake jazz. <laughs> Dave, can you grab the uh, keys to the Pacifica and move it so we can get the Yes, absolutely. Okay, the car is ready with all of its stickers, at least most of them. Missing the critical one. And there we go, last finishing touchings here. And this last one here, as you can see, is specified by the racetrack. So there we go. It is now 10.30 p.m. We're gonna be leaving here at about one, make that 